Hello everybody and welcome back to All Things Nell or you can call me Nelly as you know that's what all my friends and family call me. So let's get into this episode of America's Next Top Model Season 24 Episode 3 Beauty is Trademark. As you all know I didn't intend on doing this show but I started watching and got into it by accident. I told y'all all of that on the last review. Yep, I really did. So let's get on into. So this is the episode where everybody started getting their little makeovers and everything. And they have Gina embrace her baldness. As most of you know, if you're watching the show, Gina is bald due to an illness or like a disorder, not by choice. So she wears a lace front that's very becoming. It looks just like her and it's a beautiful piece. But that is time for makeover. So they really wanted to see what was under there. She brought the judges to tears, including myself to tears. She's very beautiful. But when I say she was beautiful up under that lace front, sister girl was next level fierce. Do you hear me? Hashtag next level fierce. She served it up. Do you hear me? Beautiful. And she worked it. And I was so happy that she loved her look. It was absolutely breathtaking. Liberty. They took Liberty Red. This is heartbroken over her makeover because she has... An issue with her scalp really bad. She has like a alopecia like issue, a paresis with her scalp. So they wanted her to get a weave, and you know, as most of you know, if you wear a weave, we will dry your your scalp out even worse and make any kind of par um, paresis or alopecia like issue worse. So they had to rethink her makeover. Tyra wanted to just make her scalp healthier and her hair healthier. She didn't want to cause more damage. So she ended up with a real nice wash and go. And it still looked real good and looked natural. Though it wasn't what Shanice wanted it, it, it was still uh, so really the ladies, nice. It, um, when they get their makeups, Liberty was turned to a redhead. Christina got a blonde weave with, with the black roots, honey, and she slayed it. It was really cute on her. Um, Rio got a short crop dyed platinum blonde drop dead gorgeous. I never imagined her with that look, but it really looked good. Ivana got a big pack from her face out of that she cried about because, you know, she had that great big old natural, but they cut it back to get some control of it and gave her a short, just like, you know, the when you get the big chop gave her that look she did all that crying let me tell you that's the quickest way to go home is to do all that crying when they give you a makeup and ask you to do something that's out of your character that'll get you sought home quick and that's the first thing she wanted to do is start all that crying i'm gonna tell you i've been rooting for her but she ain't even trying to help her own self at this point that's going to get her sent home and it's like she's just destined to try to go home i don't know why she she just wasn't ready for this show. There, I said it. Like I said, she should know from the past seasons, all that crying, they don't like. They not for it. They don't fool with that. And at this point, it's time for her to go home. Liz uh, gets hair she feels like <laughs> made her look like a my little pony but she's happy about it she really loves it it was real pretty and pink it was just to me so like her like her attitude or whatever Shanice you know had issues with paresis she couldn't get her weave and she was crying about that because she really wanted a big makeover wanted to see what they were going to shape her into and it, it kind of scared her about her shooting everything and hope she hoped it didn't affect her um being on you know getting cut and getting eliminated or whatever but everybody i was disappointed because rihanna 
not Rihanna, but Ryan. Ryan is the one. She got a weed to the floor. And the confessional, Ryan was talking about how she was going to rock it and um, just going to be showing out when she got to the house because, you know, working it. But then when she got in the photo shoot, she was just standing stiff with it. Honey, I'd have been working that weed from the flow. I'd have been slaying that doggone hair from the windows to the wall. Hey. Brenda K got a buzz cut. Okay, let me say this about this. The first show, they was talking about she was too masculine. If y'all felt Brenda K was too strong in the face and too masculine, why did y'all give her a buzz cut? Tell me that. Because once they gave her that buzz cut, it made the strength in her face even more masculine. Made the strength in her neck even more masculine. Y'all done told the girl she was masculine, but about to send the girl home. But yet you made her look even more masculine. I'm confused. How can y'all not expect her to be her to be confused? And even I'm confused, and I'm not even the girl that's been criticized and told they look masculine. Like exactly what are y'all doing here? I don't think that was fair to her because that's just sending too many mixed signals for me that y'all telling her one thing and y'all doing something else. I just feel like y'all dropped the ball with that. But anyway, the rest of the ladies embraced their makeovers from Aaron to. Curry, all of them. Gina. So the show yeah. turned out really good. All the ladies' um, makeovers came out real great. She still had a lot of trouble in this with the same people. She gave Rihanna a real beautiful weave. Sweeping the floor all the way down to the floor, just gorgeous. And she just had a lot of issues owning the look. Like she was in her little confessional going on about how she was going to rock it, serve it up, and all this kind of stuff. Erin did good. All the ladies pretty much well did good with her look, but she had per issues with the same person, which was Ivana. Lord bless it. I feel like she's model material, but I feel like the problem here is she needs to go sit with her her camera everywhere she goes and become a selfie queen. She needs to set up her camera on a um, tripod and just practice taking pictures of herself, becoming more self confident, excuse me, and so she can be more confident in herself because she when they try to photograph her she's just all over the place like she can't follow direction on and get a good photo so with that being said she was the one that went home i really wasn't ready for her to go home yet i really needed her to serve for us plus size girl but she is the one that went home this episode be sure y'all get into this episode to see all the ladies new makeovers so i thank you guys for watching be sure y'all um turn it Tune in to episode four because this show is getting really, really good. And I thank y'all for watching. And be sure if you haven't seen the um, my review for episodes one and two, I will leave them right after this. So be sure you click on the reviews for episodes one and two. And I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification button so you know when I upload a new review. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.